Wickham, and it's up to our police to show how wonderful they themselves are by getting the Beatles into their car, each all in one piece. 1964 and Beatlemania, the Fab Four had just returned from America. What did you most like about the trip, Ringo? Oh, I just loved all of it, you know, especially yeah. Miami, the yeah. sun, you know. <laughs> I didn't know what it meant until I went over there. <laughs> now, almost 50 years on, a chance to see what Ringo saw, his personal Beatles eye view of the 60s. Ringo, this is your life. This is my life. Well, this is some of my life. This is the evil. The money will go to his charity, the Lotus Foundation. This is the life of Ringo told through his pictures. Pictures he thought had gone forever. I thought it was all lost. You were surprised by some of the stuff. I was surprised. Yeah, I was surprised I had negatives. Because, <laughs> you know, you, we've moved house a lot, I've moved countries a lot, stuff has got lost. I love this picture of you and your mum here. You didn't even know you had this picture. Well, it's emotional, you know. It's, uh, pictures bring back a lot of memories. She remembered every second of my life. And, of course, as a teenager, she used to drive me mad because, yo, oh, she'd know everything. Oh, forget it, you've told me that. Now I wish she was here to tell me it all again. The Beatle years show life in the studio, what Ringo saw looking out, and this perhaps will be his last word on those times. They keep asking me to write the book, and I've said for the last 20 years I will not write the book uh, because they only want those years. <laughs> So it takes us from the dingle in Liverpool to becoming one of the most famous faces in pop. And whatever he does, Ringo will always be a Beatle. However... I have walked on the streets of London and someone said, Hey, John! Because really, they know it's one of them, they're not sure which one. But the Beatles just smile and drive off, unworried. Fifty years on, he feels he has a different perspective on those times. Helped by this window in the 60s, he thought he'd long since lost. David Solito, BBC News. But all I've got is a